Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata guys. Could be any year, any engine. Now, if you have one of those, you have check engine light on and you have guys a code such as P0520, 521, 522 or 523. Stay with us, we'll explain what can cause that and in some cases you may need uh, not to buy any any uh, parts at all so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you now if you guys need to buy any parts tools for your Hyundai Sonata or any car for a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain what can cause that now I just remember uh, many of you asked us in the comment section below to share information about the diagnostics that we use and what we recommend that's the computer right here okay works on Hyundai and almost any car you can think of it's a tool that can pay itself off in one time use because it's an all system scanner guys practically almost like a dealer level equipment so I will put the link for any of you that ask then you can check the current price and features so if you look at your engine once you remove the intake manifold on a Hyundai 2.4 GDI engine or even if you have other engines uh, you will notice that under the intake manifold right here on the engine block there is one hole that will be mounted Okay, oil pressure sensor or oil pressure switch. Now, let me start it quick. Okay, show it now. Okay, right there. That's where it will be located. Now, common mistake people make before you get to that point. When removing the intake manifold, always disconnect the car battery. You have positive wires for the engine starter and the alternator. If you touch those with the two, and obviously, most likely you will, you can burn the electronics, engine computer, modules, and that can cost you thousands of dollars. In addition, on these modern cars, it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect first. If you do it wrong, you can actually, guys, okay, you can actually cause damage to the electronics as well. I will put a link in the description of the video below to a video that explains the right way to disconnect and reconnect car battery. Now, if you have any of these codes, guys, what to look for, okay? Let's explain now. This is the oil pressure switch. Uh, now, in most Hyundai's, that will be just a switch, it's not a sensor. The difference is the switch is practically on and off. If you have enough oil pressure, okay, the oil light will be off. If you don't have enough oil pressure, you activate, oil light will be on. So, that's an on and off switch. If you have more than one wire, most likely it's a sensor that can actually detect the actual amount of oil pressure. This is the wire right here. Things to consider guys, you gotta make sure that the wire is plugged in. Sometimes people will not push it all the way in or it can get broken. People will not attach all the, uh, all the retaining clips and that wire can get broken as well. Number two, make sure it's connected. Number three, it could be itself okay, a bad sensor as well or dirty plugged up sensor in some, some uh, cases too. Okay. On the inside, it could be dirty, it can be malfunctioning. We have a special video that explains how to test an oil pressure switch, but uh, I'll recommend to go ahead and replace it if you have that light, uh, that code, and never drive with low oil pressure because you will damage the engine or no oil pressure. So if you need to buy one, we'll put the link in the description of the video below. Most of the times that will be the reason, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.